Carol Brecker. Let's have fun in my Sogetsu Ikebana studio today. We, I am using probably the favorite vase that I have made and one of the first ones that has a very flowing, uh, heavy but flowing wrapped kind of look to it. I'm using also a favorite Palo Blanco branches. And this is probably uh, the Arizona Weeping Willow. It's just gorgeous. But very soft, very flexible branches and lots of leaves hanging down. So how would we arrange with this? Well, I have some fun ideas. And what I did was tie, this was a very long hanging branch that I pulled the branches apart, tied them at the base, left some of the leaves on, but otherwise stripped the whole thing of its little weeping leaves. I made a Soeki Dome, uh, which is another wonderful uh, fixture that we use in Sogetsu Ikebana. We fit a slit in the branch and the slit in the Soeki Dome together. And I'm actually going to go this way. I have also cut the end of my branch to grab the edge of the container. And we create this fun, flowing, bubbly kind of look for our arrangement. So very simple, but happy, exuberant lines. Then we're taking amaryllis, also from my garden. We're cutting it underwater. And we're inserting it to the front and to the side. I have removed one of the amaryllis, cut it underwater, and we're going to insert it in the far back. Now, Palo Blanco means white bark. And this bark peels off the tree, and I have wired and glued it onto wire so that I can use it to um, connect with the amaryllis and the branches. All different shapes, fun fun, lovely shapes. I want to follow the line and connect to the container. So we'll come in from all sides. This would be our juicy. just adds more and more character to our arrangement. It's fun in Sogetsu to do all kinds of interesting materials, interesting shapes, show ways to use materials that we might not think of doing.
to me, this is part of the fun of Ikebana, is creating unusual and uh, arrangements that can show a mood, can show how we use materials from our gardens, from our imaginations, actually. So we're building up, including in the back, so we I will turn it around and you can see how some of these will connect with the container. And I also, I cut some of the materials from the branch. I want to add those in to fill out the flowers on this branch coming out. This was a huge pruning job because this was covered with the leaves hanging down. And since this is a, a happy fun arrangement, we don't want a lot of droop. So there are lots of flowers here that will continue to bloom. This is just little buds that I'm adding here. So let me turn it around for you, and you can see how this is a happy arrangement from all sides. So happy Ikebana to you. Thanks for joining me.